hey welcome back everyone to another video and you know i've not been doing a lot of video on this channel but i've been working on something um this is like a small small project that might end up becoming something down the road no it's not the mr project that's a pre-built thing i just bought but i'm trying to as a as a experiment get the sense um signal from the from the fan onto a microcontroller so that I can get the RPM. Now each uh, of these kind of fans have like a three wire system where ground and uh, VCC the red one is 5 volts or 12 volts in this case it's 5 volts and then you have the yellow sense wire which is connected to a tiny hall effect sensor down there inside the main core of the motor uh, and that just detects the polarity of the magnet that's on the actual fan blade core uh, and as it passes and the magnetic fields change uh, and the polarity change depending upon if it's in a bipolar or a quad polar motor it will actually um, send out two or four pulses and uh, that goes uh, and I've set it up you need a pull-up resistor with VCC um, and that goes on to this scope and you can see here uh, I have the output of uh, the Hall effect sensor uh, 5 volts per division and then uh, it's around 1, 1, uh, 150 Hertz uh, and that's not the RPM so it's not like 150 rotations per minute so depending I don't know if it's a bi or a quad polar let's say if it's a bipolar one so you take two pulses, so 150 by two, and then you multiply it by um, 60, uh, and that's your RPM. Um, but just wanted to show you the effect of slowing manually, like slowing down the the fan itself, uh, because the the fan speed on the sensor that the sensor outputs this pulse is not connected to uh, what the PWM you send. Um, or over a MOSFET into the main uh, VCC line. So what you do is if you if you put your hands there, if you slow it down, you can see the pulse gets longer. And uh, when you release it, you see it speed up. Um, and you can uh, you can almost see that uh, the fan accelerating on the scope. So there you go, stop, and then now it's at full speed. So you can see it, it stopped completely stopped and this fan kind of detects if it's being stopped by force and it will actually stop for a few seconds so i press it like that for a while it will not move and then i need to force it there we go and there it moves so yeah this is five uh, milliseconds and i can increase or decrease it of course so that you can see the pulse is very very clean i'm surprised so it might not just be a basic hall effect sensor i'm guessing there's a bit more circuitry to clean that up as well um you can see i can like really go in there and there's very slight curve there of course i am in dc mode and let's just like put that in ac and uh, let's get this down pretty fidgety scope if you ask me but you know does the job once a while so like yeah i was saying the hall effect sensor signal is pretty clean don't have to deal with any capacitors or anything just the just the simple um pull up press does the trick uh, again, it's uh, 5 volts uh, peak to peak, so it's ground and then plus 5. So Arduino should be compatible. There are a lot of 3.3 volt boards that have 5 volt uh, capable IOs because they have their internal uh, resistors as well to divide that. And yeah, so that's about it. I just found it interesting. I've never attempted to do something like this. I have a design in progress which has a few MOSFETs and can control a few fans and stuff like that. But for the time being, yeah, that's the output of your fan on the oscilloscope. And then all you have to do is detect that through interrupts or whatever on your uh, on your microcontroller, and you are done. You you get the RPM. That's how motherboards do it. That's how we do it.
All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching.